all the issues in the morning so far. Just let them be at the outside edge of your awareness. Bring the breath up to the forefront. Otherwise, we carry things around all the time. And they keep eating away at our concentration, eating away at the strength of our mind. It's like little bugs. You have to make sure the bugs don't come and eat the flowers, eat the, the fruit that you've got growing on your tree. Because the mind has a chance to be still. It's like a flower that's opening up, and the flower can develop. From the flower comes the fruit, from the fruit comes nourishment. To allow the mind to blossom, to let little bugs come and eat away. This is a John Lee's analogy for the hindrances. Sensual desire, ill will, torpor and lethargy, restlessness and anxiety, uncertainty. These things eat away at the mind. If you allow them to eat away too much, okay, then the flower doesn't get a chance to bear fruit, and then there's nothing to eat. So even though we've entertained these things for a long time, our main problem is we don't see them as hindrances. They're part of the regular diet of the mind, but there's nothing really there to feed on. You're feeding on bugs. Of course, it's going to irritate you. The more you eat, the more you get irritated. So allow the flower of the mind to blossom. And don't let the bugs come in and eat it away. And that way you get the nourishment that's really good for you. <laughs>